I was like two seconds away from not starting this recording. Well, firstly, not ending the last recording, so just having it go into the end of that one, which wouldn't have been bad. But then I remembered that I needed to stop that recording and start the new one. Anyways, welcome back. This is like not even. I literally hit stop record, start record. We're going right back into it. At least for me, I'm going right back in. It might be 24 hours or even worse. It might be three days till y'all see this. But anyways, welcome back. I'm King of Baden. And we are, what are we doing? We're doing that mission that I talked about. I think everybody still equipped how I had them. I only, did I swap anyone out? No, I was going to swap someone out for Shelter. And I want Patchwork to stay on the team because she's the one who's been hacking everything. And I know they're going for robotic enemies. So keeping things hacked will keep that down. Twerk is max level. Zephyr is not. Axiom is still pretty low. So I'm going to switch out Twerk then. Twerk for Shelter. Which is gonna, this is going to change the whole dynamic of the team. Um, Shelter is still pretty new also. You can get you can get regen weave. You can bring the breach charge. You can bring the venom rounds and the acid grenade. Nobody has tracer rounds, but nobody really needs them. So we're gonna launch this mission now. We have everything set up how we want it to be. Yeah. It worked. We caught Sacred Coil amidst their android heist. They're after the combat cores. They will not take one beautiful chassis from this place. I think it would be cool if this was more of an open world game, kind of. And you'd be able to take some of the like if we were the bad guys in this world, but we're still Chimera Squad, and you could like steal stuff. That would specifically help your people. So in this case, we'll be able to steal these Android parts for ourselves, give them to Patchwork, and she can do whatever she wants with them, like patch them into one patch them. Well, combine them into one like big robot or something like that. Prison's entrance does three damage during the breach, plus three damage during the breach. There's three encounters. Did we bring that other hollow scan in? I have to check everybody. Zephyr has the hollow scanner and we like to put uh, well, I was supposed to be starting to put Zephyr early in the turn order so she's not getting shot at for too long while she's standing wherever she ends during the breach so we're gonna do it like this we got one of those things I'm not sure if that's a dominant think dominators came in the last mission let's see what we have in here we have a mech if we can land this shot it might take it out completely cool all right, purifier, neonate chrysalid. Just click there. Another neonate, a guardian, and a turret. I'm gonna go for the guardian because we want to take this dude out as soon as we can. We'll have everyone go for the guardian too. Hopefully, that's exactly what the. Oh, well, I'm not gonna shoot it with a 52% chance. There's also this turret here that's gonna be an issue. We don't want to use Dazzle just yet. I'm not sure if it's a one turn thing or not. We'll go for this shot. Shit. All right. I should have just went for something else that I would have hit. It's like hitting a stone. Because now they're going to drop a shield for everybody. Uh. Oh, okay. A neonate chrysalid is trying to leave. It's weird. That's not a neonate. That one is. Just the chrysalid trying to leave is weird to me. On the edge. And the guardian didn't do anything during its turn. Or during its uh yeah during its turn. Safety. Just wanted to make sure that that thing got taken out of the turn order so it can drop a shield for everything else. Cause that would have brought in a whole nother level of uh difficulty. Ah, uh, flesh wound. I'm gonna bring his rage up. Okay, here's the issue. One of the things that's running is way on the other side of the map, and I have really nothing to get. Oh, actually, I can use crippling blow on it. Demolishing. That just leaves her way out in the open. Plus, this turret has an easy shot on Axiom right now because of this, too. So that's the only downside. 
fucking fantastic. The dude is right in front of you, no cover, un or even marked. So that was kind of the best case scenario right there. He's chaining jolt, I think. Not on them. Where's this chrysalid at? Not the, that this one. I do believe I clicked on the right one, the one that's trying to leave right now. Oh, it's stunned now, so we don't have to worry about it trying to leave. And the other thing that wants to leave is also still alive. That one is the neonate chrysalid, so I don't know what the other one is necessarily. That dude turned into a chrysalid while standing up still. I'm gonna drop an acid grenade on him. Grenade out. So there's an acid burn applied to both of them. Uh, which one do I want to go for though? Fire weapon at the crystal cocoon will go after Zephyr and Axiom. And this chrysalid right here. Oh, I was going to go after everything, too. Let's take out the chrysalid first, because I know that this. Uh, wow. Oh, that thing's going to burn to death on its turn, though. Yeah, you tried it, ho. Back up. I think it would have been cool if it had her weave or something like that instead of just uh, not taking the damage. Let's go for the, the smash here. If we hit, we should kill. Yep. All right. So now we're going to use. Can this hit everything in here? It just barely can't. We'll go ahead and do it here so I can take out both of these units. Which I do believe is going to leave it to where the, we have a new person trying to escape now. There's a little. Yeah, there's a little effect happening right in this area. I forgot about that turret. Forgot all about that. It was able to land its shots this time. Take care of those wounds. Uh, 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 chaining jolt. Not on you. On this thing, because that's gonna take out that chrysalid also. It's gonna deal the the, the solid four damage as well. Oh my goodness. And. We are going to take a shot. This is 74. This is a 93. We're going to take this thing out. Because she was able to use parry there again. I had a feeling it was going to go for her since it was the closest enemy or the one of the closest one of our units to her. You have a med kit to use on yourself first. You can go ahead and try and use smash on them. 70% chance to hit, which isn't too bad. Although we've missed on pretty high chances so far this uh this mission. Remembering the 93 that are recorded earlier today. Shattering. Broke the hostile. You're the best. You're coming up on the factory floor. Try not to break the machinery. If it breaks. It breaks. Yeah, I don't know why he told us to break stuff. Our main thing is to reclaim stolen goods and goods that shouldn't be on the street still. Last unit through the entrance is marked until the end of the round. He already is taking too much damage to even think about putting him there. We need her to use the med kit now. Shelter doesn't have anything in Zephyr. Has the hollow scanner, but she already started with it. And this is going to mean that Zephyr is marked for the round. That's okay because I know she has the region weave, so she will be healing herself up um, quite a bit throughout the match anyways. Nobody opened that door before they ran through. See if the mech... See if we can take this mech out in time. Andrew is going to be annoying, but it's not going to be as bad since it's not going to shoot at us and it's also not alert or anything like that. 93 on the Guardian. Okay. I said 93. I'm not sure if that's actually said 93. 
I'm definitely should have. Ooh, Zephyr? She's not going too far out there, though, so she shouldn't be surrounded or anything like that. Damn, she's already taking damage, though. And I know she's going to be marked for this, uh, this whole encounter. So that's going to be an issue, especially, um, with her coming way later in the turn order. And we have a shit ton of fucking turrets, too. How many? Two turrets back to back. Putting you psych up. And you smash on. Yeah, go ahead and you smash on this commando. It's pretty likely to hit. If it does hit, it's probably going to kill. Stunned is fine. I was hoping he would rage right after that and try and hit something else. Another scar for my collection. Use reprogram on the number five turn is probably gonna have a better uh angle to do stuff so i'll go for that one looks like it didn't work out though the hack was indeed resisted chaining jolt will take out one of these turrets no matter what but there's a guardian out here too who could potentially shoot oh wait i can just use team up team up on zephyr Okay, now I want to use Chaining Jolt. Ooh, I don't know. Because on the one hand, I could stun and disorientate this dude so he can't shoot. And if he ends up stunned, he can't drop that shield on everybody. Somewhat effective. I did not see what he... Oh, it's disorientated. Okay, I don't know if it can still use its abilities while, dis while it's disorientated. But I do know... That it's gonna be better for us either way. Stayed back. I do believe I'm out of range of this thing's explosion from here. If it does end up going off from this crowd control of uh ability. Either way though, it's rooted, so wherever I move to, I'll be safe. And I'll move her down to here to have cover. Even though she is marked for this encounter. Oh shit, I forgot they're trying to leave. Okay. Is this a once per turn? That's a two turn cooldown. We'll go ahead and try it out. I don't think I've ever seen it yet. Interesting. Okay. So when Verge uses his abilities, he tends to like pull it from his skull almost, or at least his hand motion makes it seem like that. She's probably going to go down this time. You need some help? Yeah. Um... Yeah, Verge seems to like pull from his head region when he's doing stuff like that. While uh, Chelsea just did it, basically. Let's go to stabilize her from here. This android is still rooted, so it's only going to be able to take a shot. I think this is the first time we've had someone go down not at the last part of the mission. Use Chaining Jolt on the turret this will take out the turret and then deal a decent amount of damage and might even add those effects to the other two enemies right there so we got to stun off on one which means that they won't be able to take that turn when it is that one did make it out though i was hoping that it would stun him and he wouldn't be able to leave because i knew i'd be able to do some damage to the other dude before it got to their turn I just want run up and use subdue though. Not on you though. So I'll relocate with them. And then move to secure this. Heading over. And at this angle, we should be protected from the turret. The only one who's out in the open right now will be Axiom. And we got the contraband cache. Yeah, this is going to be the first time I think that I've deployed an android. And that is because I've never, um, I never lost somebody on the first or one of the first two rounds. It's always been in the third one that I lose somebody. That thing was just rooted, but whatever, I guess. Can you stop that? We're here if you need us. You just use subdue.
He's relocated with Axiom. Gives me options. I mean, you can take a shot here. Cool. They're now. Don't let him escape with those android parts. When they need us, I'm here for you. Androids can be brought in to reinforce the squad when an agent bleeds out during a mission. While not as powerful as an agent, what they lack in ability is made up through customizing their weapons and equipment. But I didn't actually customize any of its weapons. Uh, selected fewer androids than the maximum available. If you proceed, you may find yourself outgunned. There's only one android. Uh, reinforced steel. To the entrance gives plus one armor for the encounter. Well, I'll send Patchwork through here. Patchwork and. Can Axiom scream through this door? Can Axiom scream through this door? He cannot. And Shelter will go here. The last unit through. We had that man and then Axiom with the ceasefire bomb. Ready to go. Breaching. Man, this is a shit show. I never gave that dude anything because I never used one before. Uh, I don't know why I was functioning on the assumption that I hadn't yet, therefore I wouldn't ever. I guess that's on me. That's definitely on me, actually. Yeah, why don't we shoot at the thing that's right in front of us? You can just dazzle on them. And since you're throwing that into the open room, it's still deal damage, not damage, but destroying take quite a few different enemies. I don't have to wait. Well, I want to say I don't have to worry about it. But going for this might be the better option. Yeah, get that turret out of here. I don't, I don't, I don't know why this garden is taking damage. I'm not complaining though. Oh, it's probably one of the ones that ran out of the room. Damn. Target in sight. I was looking at Andromeda running around in here too. Patrick's turn is first though. You can go for a reprogram. You can't there's say so chaining jolt then. You know, you still can't see this android. Which is annoying. I don't want to jump through there though right now. Go for the reprogram, then we might as well try it since it's in a pretty de it has a pretty decent angle over this entire room. And we managed to get it this time. And now you can use chaining jolts. You can just shoot. Yeah, you can just shoot it. Oh, only a 52. 72% chance to shoot this dude. They're disorientated. It looked like they just reloaded first. They missed their shot. A big target. This thing's making a run for the exit, although it didn't make it all the way. Use soul fire. We use relocate on the Andromeda, although that does leave her right next to Zephyr. Not Zephyr. Patchwork, who already doesn't have a turn. You hit that with Soulfire? Who can you hit with this move? Does this end a turn? Does guarantee damage and ignores cover and armor. I probably should start working on the Andromeda. And does that end his turn? It does, okay. Oh, the Andromeda's trying to leave also. Well, shit. And this dude can only really shoot. Or subdue. Yeah, we might as well just go for this shot here. We managed to take them out. The thing has a little voice, which I didn't even uh, expect. Never expected that. Go for the Andromeda on this shot. Go for the smash on. Shit, I should probably go for the Andromeda. But I don't want this Guardian to drop a shield for everything else in here. Go for Chaining Jolt on the Andromeda now. 
Hopefully we get a shutdown or a stun or something. So we got it stunned for two turns, so we don't have to worry about that thing moving towards the exit right now. They're disorientated. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to make it. The purifier is just moving back in general. If we have grenades, that'd be a good time to drop them right now. Use relocate with the... With the Andromeda, that'll push it behind. That thing's turn. So yeah, that's what I do. And then I'll use subdue from right here. Arrested the hostile. This leaves him unconscious. We're also hitting these things out of the door that they were trying to go through. Uh, I won't be able to move Patrick away from this explosion. I can't move this robot away though. for a shot on the Andromeda and try and break it now or, or you can just miss the thing that's standing completely still slumped against the corner like a drunk dude Quick, get it out. what can you see why have you go for the Andromeda and try and break it yeah you managed to hit from a much further distance these hack turrets seem to be doing better than this like designed Android that we wanted to have here. And you can go ahead and clean up the purifier. Or miss. Uh, I guess I should. As soon as I said clean up the purifier, I had a feeling I was probably going to miss. All right, so it's Patchwork's turn now. But she can't do anything because she's in the fire. Use the nano med kit on yourself. We can't go for a reprogram, but we are about to lose that turret. Yeah, we're gonna lose this turret. What the hell? Can you not see this thing? There's no goddamn way you can't see it. That's a clear shot. This doesn't make sense, but whatever. Go for a chaining jolt here. I think we only have one turn left with having it on our side. I don't know what the purifier is going to try. It looks like he uses flamethrower. But I think, what does he have that makes him immune? I can't remember. Uh, 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 yeah, I guess we'll just use soul fire. Damn. Alright, can you make this shot now? Cool. And this thing is just trying to leave. Interesting how the little poison or whatever thing was already there before it went off and did its move. Let's just try and shoot it that we don't accidentally move into the poison or whatever. I know it's not an issue for uh, Axiom because he has the hazmat still, I believe. But it's still, you don't want to just risk it for no reason. Gravely wounded on Zephyr. Android heist foiled. Uninscribed combat cores were vital to sacred cores planned or stolen androids. But as many as they tried to grab, they could have re refitted advent mech frames or converted the consumer android chassis for combat. Now that we know what the what to protect, Sacred Coil and Android Heist has stopped before it started. I didn't build androids to replace the workforce. Yeah, I can guess the workforce is something we need to restore. There are no nations, no global governments. Androids exist to perform essential and menial tasks where we figure out what this world is going to be. While we figure out what this world is going to be. How can we do this while we're in the mid, in the nursery, the cubicle, or the factory floor? From Channel 37 interview with the president of Momentum Foundation. Yeah, it is, that's actually pretty interesting, though. Yeah. Most people just think to, uh, that the world went back to normal after an alien. Well, the world wouldn't go back to normal right after an alien invasion. Are vital to the rebuilding effort. Sacred Coil will need to find troops elsewhere. Uh, so without that, um, like if you wouldn't go back to normal right after, so there'd be an issue of like, I'm not gonna go back to work on the factory floor. 
there are aliens, so obviously I need to do something more with my life. You know, some people would think that, that, but you know, that's a whole different philosophical thought question of what would happen if type of things. There's a wish disease affecting some hybrid populations worldwide. It's known locally as the fade. Sacred Coil claims they have a cure. Find out if there's any truth to these broadcasts. Sacred Coil and members can harness their psionic training to recover their, from wounds. Reclamation links Sacred Coil to a variety of City 31's missing persons, all human. Stop these human abductions and recover them from Sacred Coil. Time is of the essence. Sacred Coil operatives are trained to maintain more active responses to breach agents. So that sounds like we're going to have more hostile units at the breach, which I don't want more. Like, I'm fine with psionic abilities to heal because we can just keep dealing damage. Since it's just, if it's just healing, then we can just do more damage. It's going to make it a little more difficult to take people out. But overall, I think it's going to be better. This place reminds me of our invasion ships. Ah, uh, this will be good. How? We're a tight crew in a massive structure. Around every corner, there's a vital function. We're rotting in the middle of nowhere. Don't fault our strategic location. I fault the rust that flakes into my food. Yeah, it's hilarious. I don't think I, I haven't heard Axiom and Torque talk to each other before. That's when I stopped everything and turned it up. So by promote agents. All right, Solus. Shelter is surrounded by an aura that immediately extinguishes or blocks any mental impairment for themselves and any nearby allies. Or we get Soul Storm. Upgrade soul fire to heal shelter for half of the damage dealt. Now here's the issue. I don't know what this soulless thing is going to do. Shelter is surrounded by an aura that immediately extinguishes or blocks all mental impairments for themselves or nearby allies. See, this doesn't seem as powerful to me. And that's because I haven't had many mental effects applied. Like the only person who gets mental effects is axiom because of his berserk but we want his berserk so we don't want to block that for the most part we haven't had anyone we haven't had anyone panicked yet uh, i think we've had a few people stunned but that wasn't too bad although it could be useful against um the progeny coming up so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go ahead and get this one for the progeny who i know do a lot with the mental effects oh yeah there's a wasting disease affecting some hybrid populations worldwide Known locally as the Fade, Sacred Coil claims they have a cure. Find out if there's any truth to these broadcasts. I think I did the same thing last time, but I don't know if it had the uh the same effect. I want both of these things. I need the intel. I think I need more money more than I need more intel though right now. So I'm gonna use Dragnet on the intel, and then I'm gonna do the one for money issue is what's going on in spec ops training he's having his scar removed i might have to put him right back in once his scar is removed because we don't have anyone who's not scarred at the moment right oh shit we didn't put anyone in to do the assemblies so this is taking slightly longer than usual we'll put twerking on the assembly and i'm gonna put claymore on the team okay And then we're going to send the APC. So next time we play, which is going to be in a few seconds, maybe. No, nah, I think I'm done recording for today. Anyways, another Illyrium smuggler in custody. The smuggling ring will likely go to ground Go to ground for now. Ubud has finished training his stress management and glad handing is now complete. What does that give us? Extra money? Sacred Coil is led by Bellis Mar, a former Advent commander. He was never apprehended after the war. As far as we know, he's still fighting it. We believe he had some responsibility for the Bugtown Massacre. Consider Bellis Mar highly motivated and extremely dangerous. Superior weapon. Why do I choose precision over the sloppiness of, say, a shotgun? <laughs> More like, why rely on something so small? It's elegant. It never jams. And when you put it away, people forget it's there. Yeah, exactly my point. I barely know it's there when you fire it. You're right. The loud muton gets all the attention. Me? I pick off those who do them harm. Cunning. All right. I can respect that. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh Yeah, that's going to be all for this episode, though. Thanks for watching. Damn, we got a bunch of shit that we can do next time. Uh, The pirate radio station? I might go for that, too. 
Although we do still need more intel and we get 30 from that one down there. We do also need money right now. What's the scavenger market got? Nothing that I'm too interested in. That auto loader would have been nice uh, to get for blue blood, but it's not terrible to not get. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Keegan Batting. You can follow my other socials in the description down below. Uh, damn, our uh, anarchy is getting pretty high too. Don't forget to like the video and share it and all that stuff that helps me grow my channel. Uh, I'll see you next time.